Welcome listeners in the series of uh, videos on topology. Uh, we are dealing with the derived set, and in the last video, uh, we have seen the theorem which says the closure of a set A in X is same as A union derived set of A, and we have given the proof of it. Okay. Now today we will see uh, T1 space and T2 space and some uh, related properties of it. So let us first uh, see the definition of T1 space. There are another nomenclatures for that. That is, you can check T1 space. Right? Now uh, let me put the definition first here. I will explain. A topological space. Topological space X is said to be T1 space if if for all X and Y belonging to X that means if you take any two points in X any arbitrary which are distinct that means X is not equals to Y then there exist or uh, there are neighborhoods means open sets say ux u suffix x now we say that ux is a neighborhood of x and a v suffix y a neighborhood of y so let us write me uh, let me write here a ux and vy of x and y respectively that means x has a neighborhood ux y has a neighborhood of vy such that such that there is a condition such that this y will not belongs to will not belong to the neighborhood of x that is ux and this x will not belongs to neighborhood of y so in a topological space suppose if you take any two points which are distinct you can find the neighborhoods of x and y such that the y will not be in the neighborhood of x and x is not in the neighborhood of y. Such a space is called a T1 space. Okay, so if we uh, if we try to draw the diagram of this, suppose this is your space x, and in this x, if you take any two points x and y, let us take this as x, one point x here, another point y here if you take any two points no matter how close you take you can always find a two neighborhoods say a neighborhood of x such a way that this y will not be in the neighborhood of x that means it may be anywhere but in that open set x or this y will not be there so it is something like this it may be anywhere right it may be like this but y should not belong to the neighborhood of x and another neighborhood of another neighborhood of uh, Take a white neighborhood of y which will not contain x that means it will be something like this it may be very close to x no problem but but this y should not be in the neighborhood of x and x should not be in the neighborhood of y so this is how you can draw the diagram this is vy and this is ux okay. uh, if you see the example uh, let us take uh, r now another point which uh, you want to uh, you need to keep in mind that this is the existential right you should find two neighborhoods there exist two neighborhoods ux and uy means you should find the two neighborhoods such that this thing happens if you can find one pair in which this can happen then the topological space will be called as a t1 space let us see our example say r with usual topology usual map this one Euclidean topology uh, matrix. So let us take R U standard topology, and let us take these two points X and Y belongs to R U. Okay. So what we have, let us take this as R U and in this R you have two points, the X here and Y here. Okay. Now this is a T1 space provided. If you take any two points in R, you can find the neighborhoods of X and Y such that this Y should not be in the neighborhood of X and X should not be in the neighborhood of Y. 
and you can always do that in r why because since x is not equals to y there is a distance between x and y so you take the half of the distance and then you can take a neighborhood of y and this neighborhood will not contain x okay that's how you have you have to define your uh, interval the open ball again you may you will uh, you can find the neighborhood of x which will not contain y this can be very close to y in fact you can take open interval y also because y will not be in the open interval right so you can say that r u r with usual topology is a t1 space now again remember this says what this says x should not be in the neighborhood of y and y should not be in the neighborhood of y uh, x but it never said that there is no intersection there may be some intersection like here in r we have taken one this neighborhood and we have taken this neighborhood so there is a intersection between these two uh, neighborhoods okay so again in the same r again in the same r suppose you want to find uh, another neighborhoods you can always do that which are uh, which are disjoint so we can find we can find one neighborhood something like this we can find another neighborhood something like this x is y now in this case x will not be in this neighborhood and y will not be in this neighbor neighborhood and the intersection of both the neighborhoods is empty so the intersection may be empty may not be empty that is we, we are not interested in what we are interested in this x should not be in the neighborhood of y and this y should not be in the neighborhood of x in that case we call our topological space x as a t1 space okay we can go one more step further and put a extra condition that their intersection should be empty like this case same conditions but in the, in in now you can find a two neighborhood such that their intersection is empty and of course if intersection is empty then the y cannot be in x uh, neighborhood of x and this x cannot be in the neighborhood of y and that space is called a t2 space so let's uh, write that t2 space And uh, famous thing is called as house dog space. House dog space. Commonly, it's called as house dog space. Same definition, but only a thing what I said is there exists some neighborhoods U X and B Y such so that their intersection is empty. All right? So let's put that. A topological space. Uh, a topological space the x is said to be a house top space if for all x and y belonging to x x not equals to y you take any two points in x which are distinct there exist there are neighborhoods let us take same ux and vy of x and y respectively such that such that the intersection that is ux intersection vy is empty okay if you want to see example example is this r r with usual topology is a t2 space it's a house top space okay uh, if you want to draw the diagram let's do that also this is your x Whole space. In this x, you take two points, the x and y. Now, in this, you, if you can find two neighborhoods, if you can find, right? It is not. It should not. It is not like if you take two neighborhoods, this should happen. It is like there exist, right? There exist means if you can find two neighborhoods of x and y. Such that the intersection is empty, then it's called a T2 space. So in this case, we will find one neighborhood of X, something like this, the UX. You can find another neighborhood of 
y something like this vy and the intersection is empty okay now we can see if you take t2 space does that imply it's a t1 space and if you take t1 space does that imply it is a t2 space in our example what we have seen here are with usual topology it is a t1 space as well as it's a t2 space right it's a Hausdorff space so the natural question here is what is the relation between t1 and t2 these two spaces is it t1 is a subset of t2 that means if you have a topological space t, which is t2 does that imply it is t1 and secondly if you have a topological space which is t1 does that imply it is a t2 space all right now here also we can convert this definition into basis here what it says there exists a new groups ux and vy of x and y such that their intersection is empty but we can go one more step further and we can say there exists a basic neighborhood okay let us take that as an example um, example of t2 space we can take as ru ru digital topology and explain why it is a t2 space let us take let us consider this example if script b is a basis for x then x is t2 space if and only if for all x and y in x which are distinct that is x is not equal to y there exist basic neighborhoods bx and by belonging to this basis b says that x belongs to bx that is <coughs> bx is a bx is the neighborhood of x and y belongs to by that is by is a basic uh, by is the basic neighborhood of y and very important thing and the intersection bx intersection by is empty okay one way it's very straightforward if it is t2 space uh, okay if uh, for all x and y if we can find these basic neighborhoods then it's a t2 space because we know that bx and by are open sets right basic open sets there so if the second condition holds then naturally uh, by the definition of t2 space it will be a t2 space secondly if you assume that x is a t2 space then you can find your two neighborhoods say ux and vy need not be a basic neighborhood such that their ux intersection vy is empty and you know that x belongs to ux and y belongs to yeah, because those are the neighborhoods of x and y respect, respectively so you can use the definition of open set x belongs to ux and b is the basis that means there exists a basic element say bx such that x belongs to bx and bx is a subset of ux similarly you can find by and since ux intersection by is empty that implies bx intersection by is empty and that is what uh, we wanted to prove so the write-up of this I will leave as an exercise for the uh, learner, right? We can learn that. Now, as I asked just now, we can we can prove that we can prove that if we have a T2 space, then T2 space will imply it is also a T1 space. But you can have a T1 space which is not a T2 space. So if, if you have a topological space X which is T2 then naturally you, you can say that it's a T1 space. So as in our example we we got that R with usual topology is a T2 space. So naturally it will be a T1 space. Alright. Because, because here for T2 space we need their intersection should be empty. And of course if intersection is empty then y cannot be in ux and y, x cannot be in vy if that is the case then intersection cannot be empty because you know that 
you know that here let me write and then rub it this x belongs to ux we know y belongs to vy we know because those are the neighbors of vx and vy uh, x and y respectively now suppose y is in ux then there are x and y is in ux y is here right and then that will imply the intersection of both is not empty okay so you can write that so we have a topological space which is uh, if it is t2 then obviously it will be a t1 and in here it says if it is t1 then it need not be need not be need not be there may be there may be or there may not be right so t1 space need not imply it's a t2 space for example let us let me just uh, give a simple example here you take a cofinite topology okay and you take x x as your set of all the natural numbers and take tau and tau is co finite topology okay um this is a topology which is t1 but not t2 tau with this is cofinite topology where your set is set of all the natural numbers our claim is tau is t1 but not t2 this tau is t1 but not t2 why it is t1 it is t1 because in your natural number you take two natural number any two natural number arbitrary for let us write for that means listen for it for let us show that it's a t1 space and to show that it's not a t2 space i will uh, keep it to the learner okay you work out for that now here we have to show that this tau is a t1 space that means what you have to show let me go back to the definition of t1 space for a t1 space if you take any two points in the space which are distinct there should exist two neighborhoods such that x is not in the neighborhood of y and y is not in the neighborhood of x so as i directly said here tau is a t1 space and to prove that let us take two points say m comma n in the space x and us in your case the space x is set of all the natural numbers so it is n and there should be distinct you have to find two neighborhoods of no neighborhoods of m and n are respect in respectively so that it will not contain the other point and again remember what are the open sets here it's a cofinite topology so the set x is uh, set u is open in tau provided its, its complement is finite provided its complement is finite so can you have a finite set of x which is open right I mean, that means what are the open sets in uh, cofinite topology you can ask a question what are the closed sets in a cofinite topology right if you have a topological space what then what is the closure of a set what is the interior of a given set right all those questions you can answer for this cofinite topology right now here you have taken two points m and n such that their intersection is empty now what you have to do is you have to find two neighborhoods one of m and second of n respectively such that their intersection uh, sorry uh, this m should not be in the in the um, neighborhood of n and n should not be in the neighborhood of m and how to get it now for that for that let me take un u un um is the neighborhood of m okay let me take that as n difference singleton n is this open is this open as i said it's a neighborhood so obviously it is open right but to prove uh, when it this will be open this is open provided its complement is finite okay now here what we have is you have first set up all the natural numbers and from there you have removed n so obviously if you remove only one point which is n and n is not equal to m that means this m will be in this set and then uh, we have written this as um so this is a neighborhood of m okay and this is open because when you take the complement of it it is n a difference n difference small n 
and that will be equals to singleton n which is finite so this is the open set all right so this is a uh, this is the open set which contains m so this is the neighborhood of um uh, neighborhood of m let us take the vn neighborhood of n as you take set same set n and you remove m from it now right this is open because its complement is finite which is singleton m and this is the neighborhood of n uh, with n because n is not equals to m and you are just removing m point point m so it will contain m so these are the two neighborhoods now this m does not belongs to does not belongs to vn and n does not belong to u m right this implies this this tau this set of all the natural numbers with cofinite topology is a t1 space because we could find two neighborhoods of m and n respectively which is um and vn such that m is not in vn and n is not in um and hence this is a, a t1 space and to prove that this is uh, not a t2 space i will leave that out for the learner okay now another uh, property we can prove uh, very easily that is let us write it as a theorem x is t1 space if and only if every singleton point in x is closed so it's a economic statement if you have a space wherein every singleton point is closed then you can say that x is a t1 space okay and uh, conversely if you say that x is a t1 space then if you take any point singleton point then it is closed so we can ask a question whether discrete topology uh, on a set x is a t1 space or t2 space space we can work out for in discrete topology as well okay now again you can say that see here that if if uh, this x is a t1 space then every singleton set is closed that means if you take a finite set then finite set can be written as a union of singletons every singleton set is uh, closed that means your finite union of closed set is closed so we can convert this into another statement that x is t1 space if you only if every finite set of x finite subset of x is closed that will be uh, taken as a corollary. So first, let us prove this. Proof is very uh, simple of this. Let us take x be a t1 space. Let us take this to be a t1 space. We have to show that every singleton set is closed. Okay. So let we take a x belongs to x. We take a singleton point to show that. Singleton X is closed, right? And to show that something is closed, we what we do is we take the complement of it, and we show that it is open. So your claim is X different singleton X is open set. And to show that some set is open, what you do is you take a point in that set, you take a point in that set. You find the neighborhood of that point which is in the given set that means the given set is open by the definition of open set so for that let us take a point say let y belongs to x difference singleton x you have to find a neighborhood of y which will contain inside this okay now y belongs to x difference singleton x that means what y cannot be equals to x because already from x you have removed x and that y is in that given uh, remote set that means y is not equals to x if y is not equals to x and since x is t1 space there are neighborhoods say ux and vy such that x is not in vy and you uh, this x sorry y is not in ux okay so this implies this implies there exists neighborhood 
vy of y such that x does not belong to vy and if x does not belong to vy that means what and again we said that vy is a neighborhood of y and x does not belong to vy that means what this implies y belongs to vy and x is not in this so it will be a subset of x and you remove x from it and because x does not belong to vy so what we have achieved we have taken a point in x different singleton x and after argument we got a neighborhood of vy a neighborhood of y which is vy which is contained inside the given set this implies x different singleton x is open set and if it is open then complement is closed that is singleton x is closed in x okay that is our first claim we have we have assumed that x is given space and we proved that every singleton set is closed we have taken arbitrary x in x and we showed that the singleton x is closed in x okay conversely conversely let let us assume that let every singleton set every singleton be closed in x okay and we have to show that to show that x is t1 space and to show that x is t1 space we have to take two points and we have to find the neighborhood such that some condition is true right so let us take two points so let x comma y belongs to x take two points we have to find the neighborhoods now neighborhood of x and y that means two open sets of uh, such that x will not in the neighborhood of y and y is not in the neighborhood of x right so now since singleton x uh, okay here one more condition you have to put and x not equal to y you have to take two distinct points since singleton x is closed implies complement is open x different singleton x is open and x different singleton x is open x is not equal to y and you are just removing one point x from this set and this y will be in this given set because x is not equal to y and this is the neighborhood of y you can say because we already said that it's open and y is in the given set so this is the neighborhood of y similarly Suppose I have to increase the pages. Similarly, what happens is we can find the neighborhood of X All right. Similarly, the same grounds since singleton Y is closed, what does that mean? This implies x different singleton y is open and of course you are removing y from here and this implies x also is in this x different singleton y so this is the neighborhood of x okay so with this we could find two neighborhoods uh, which are of x and y respectively such that x is not in the neighborhood of y and y is not in the neighborhood of x and hence hence our x is t1 space so if you have any any time if you have a t1 space then you know uh, you can use the fact that the singleton x is closed and if in that set 
a singleton set is closed and the given space is given space and as we said just now let us take that point as a corollary to this theorem i can say that a topological space topological space the x is t1 if and only if every finite subset of x every finite subset of x is closed in x proof very uh, sim uh, similar all this uh if you assume that single uh, this uh, uh, topological space is t1 then by using this theorem we can say that singletons are closed and every finite set can be written as the union of those singletons singletons are closed finite union of singletons is closed that means the finite subset of uh, x will be a closed set conversely also we can try okay so with this uh, we have seen uh uh with what are t1 spaces and t2 spaces also we have the definition of uh, 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 limit points right and we have proved that x is a limit point provided something happens but if you have a t1 space then that becomes much more uh, much more uh, easier so let us let me put that as theorem uh, I will leave again as, uh, the proof of this theorem as an uh, exercise to the learner. If x is even space, a subset of x, then x is a limit point. x is a limit point. Of e, if and only if. In fact, in uh, in a general topological space, we have already proved this uh, statement, right? X is the limit point of e if and only if something happens, right? But here we can put that since it's a T1 space, uh, if and only if every neighborhood of X contains infinitely many points of e in fact one uh, in fact when you had a course on uh, matrix spaces and when you go for uh, uh, r with your usual metric standard euclidean metric we use this for the definition all right uh, in that course, we don't know what is T1 space or T2 space, but here for a general topological space, we can have these uh, spaces and then uh, we can make the claims. But again, if you have T2 space, then we don't know. Right now, at this stage, we don't know whether this thing will happen or not. Okay, but but now uh, let me just uh, say here we have said that every T2 space is a T1 space. Okay, so if some property is true for T1, then definitely that property is also true for T2, because T1 is a. If you take all those uh, topological spaces which are T1 and put them as a set, so this will be a set which contains T1 spaces, and inside that you have a T2. So this is for T1 and this is for T2. So if you take any space which is T2, then it is T1, but you may have a space which is t1 so you may have a space which is here but it need not be in t2 that's what we have here so there is a point here there is a space here which is not in the t2 which is not a house of space okay so so this will hold for all t2 as well if you have a t2 space then this uh, this is true okay uh, you work on this it's very simple uh, proof and uh, as a corollary to this proof we can have if you have a finite set so no
finite subset of subset of t1 space no finite subset of t1 space admits a limit point why is this true this is true from because of this last theorem it says if x is a limit point then every neighborhood should contain infinitely many points right so if if you have a space x which is t1 and which is finite and for that x to be a, a limit point it should contain every neighborhood should contain infinitely many points but in this case it's not true because your space itself is a finite space right it cannot have a infinitely many points so if you have a finite topological space which is t1 then it will not have any limit point okay and finally you can also claim this that x be a Hausdorff space Hausdorff space means Hortitus space then let me put the points every finite subset every finite subset of x is closed second point for a which is a subset of x and x a point in x x is limit point of a limit point of a if and if if and only if every neighborhood of x contains infinitely many points of p this fact you can easily prove now points of and thirdly also we can say that no finite subset no finite subset of x subset of x admits a limit point in x so if you have finite set it cannot have a limit point in fact we have just discussed it this theorem and corollary also comes for that corollary corollary for the given theorem because if you have a t1 space then it will be a bigger set and in that bigger set it will have a t2 spaces so every t2 space will be a t1 t1 space but the converse is not true and that fact also we have proved uh, proved in the sense i have given an example here right for topology n it is a t1 space but it is not a t2 space okay uh, in the next video it will be a very short video in that uh, we will see the definition of a limit points by uh, using the sequences right convergence of a sequence and we will show that in a hausdorff space and uh, if we have suppose x is a hausdorff space and we have a sequence in that hausdorff, hausdorff space then that sequence cannot converge to more than one limit point more than one point and this is the fact what we use in the real analysis we showed that the limit of a sequence is unique right because if you say that r uh, when you when you define the convergence uh, this one uh, we say the distance right mod of x n minus x we say mod of let me just go that we say uh, xn converges to x if mod of xn minus x is equals to 0 and we will take the limit of this right and in fact this is nothing but this distance what we show distance between x and y in a matrix spaces you this uh, define this as x minus y okay so everything is interrelated and in r in r you say that if we have a sequence it cannot converge to more than one limit point because 
in a topological space r with usual topology with this uh, metric uh, space it is a hausdorff space and in a hausdorff space a sequence cannot converge to more than one limit point so in the next video we will see the definition of those uh, sequences and we will show that we will show that uh, in a hausdorff space a sequence cannot converge to more than one limit point and in the next video we will show that in a topological space x which is uh, that will be a t2 space provided the diagonal will be uh, closed in your uh, product topology x plus y so uh, see you in the next video